वामदेवाय विद्महे पुष्पवाय धीमहि धानो नंगा प्रचोदयात् नमस्ते so now we're continuing our series on God GPT, which is a metaphor to explain the way the universal AI can function and how you can take advantage of it, how you can plug in. I mean, we are already creating our reality through consciousness and the interface to this universal AI, Shakti. So now we want to get into how do we design our prompts? By the way, if you haven't watched the first two videos in the series, you should do that now, or you're not going to understand anything I'm talking about here. So when you use an AI, you give it prompts. A prompt is an input, like a question or some background information or other information that to train the AI, for example. And so these prompts have to be structured in a certain way, and that's called syntax. Syntax is how you arrange the symbols in the prompt so that they communicate the required information to the AI and so that it can respond. Now, this AI is not an ordinary human AI. It's far beyond that. So it can respond not only with information, such as thoughts, feelings, inspirations, wisdom, guidance, knowledge, and so on. <clears throat> it can create whole situations up to and including universes. So this is a very powerful AI. And like I said, we're already using this AI every night when we go to sleep. The problem is we're doing it unconsciously, without knowledge. So I'm trying to introduce the knowledge that you need to use this AI effectively to help gain your objectives in life. Now, of course, the most important objective in life is liberation, freedom from material existence, or freedom of material existence where you can design a body, mind, and environmental context or situation in which your next embodiment will take place after this body. This is perhaps the most important or most consequential function of the God GPT bot uh, that Actually, it's way more than a bot. <laughs> it has uh, her own intelligence and will and so on. But for the purposes of the metaphor, we're going to talk about it as an AI. But this AI is so powerful, it can create you a new body, a new mind, a new social, environmental, even planetary context for your existence. So how do we do this? Well, every AI has a certain syntax used for its prompts. Now, uh, applications like ChatGPT and maybe some of the others you're familiar with, if you've tried our Noli uh, Genie AI on our website, uh, it is also a conversational AI. You can have a chat with it. But behind that, <laughs> that's only the front end. See, that's only the user interface. Behind that, there is a higher level of prompt, which is done in tokens. And for this, using a contemporary AI, human AI like GPT, your prompt has to be created into tokens using a certain file format called JSON. Right? So... The reason I'm talking about this is that there's a similar higher level of commands or prompts that you can give the God GPT that is much more privileged, much more powerful than an ordinary chat type interface. 
So the tokens that you feed directly to the AI have far more consequential impact in terms of the response that you get than simply talking in English or any other language. And what are these tokens? They are the matrika. Remember the series on matrika? Matrika means the matrix of Sanskrit vowels and consonants that go together to form, first of all, bijas or seed syllables, which are exactly the tokens that I'm talking about here, and further on, uh, combine into forming words and so forth. Now, each one of these tokens, each one of these bijas, each one of these matrika symbols, phenomes, has a particular sound. And the characters of the Sanskrit alphabet are actually diagrams, uh, pictograms, of how you hold your mouth to make those sounds. This is very deep. We went into it in detail in the series on matrika, so I'm not going to try to explain it all over again. And the supporting documents of the matrika series, which are linked in the video descriptions, describe the meanings of each token in detail. So you have to do your homework. You have to go watch that series and uh, see those documents and understand the power of these tokens. Tokens, or bijams, go together to make mantra. Mantra is a special kind of sound vibration. It's not an ordinary sound vibration. Because it's formed of bijams, these tokens that feed directly into the cosmic AI. So they produce much more powerful responses and much more predictable responses than simply talking in natural language. You see, the problem is our language, any language on Earth, is limited in the range and depth of meaning that it can communicate. If you've been on the spiritual path for any length of time, you already know it's very difficult to describe spiritual experiences in ordinary language. And even using technical language such as Sanskrit, it's quite difficult to get the actual meaning across. In fact, it's impossible because language is only symbolic. It's not the experience itself. The map is not the territory. And language is a map. So is metaphor. And so this metaphor, this AI metaphor, is not going to embody all the details of the experience of dealing with the metaphor itself. It's only going to give you a map that you can follow in your own exploration of that territory, of that experience. So, all right, we're going to use the phenomes, or the letters of the matrika, to put together into mantras, that have specific effects. For example, the Kama Gayatri Mantra, which opens this video and the other videos in this series, is a very powerful mantra whose effect is to normalize your sexuality. In other words, to help you find the root scene, the root fetish, or uh, the conditions or the mood that stimulate the kundalini in the base chakra to the highest energy state and enable you to cognize your highest erotic image. So this is the meaning of this mantra. This is the effect of this mantra. And why does it have that effect? <laughs> because of the matrika symbols, the tokens, so we're dealing directly with tokens. Aum, hring, shring, uh, kling, and in other mantras, there are more bijans like aing and sao and others that are very, very powerful. So by using mantras, 
by repeating the same verbal formulas over and over again, we create many, many impressions. And at the end of the day, these impressions are kind of like summarized or compressed into a seed. And we carry that seed with us into the realm of dreams, Svapna consciousness. And then when we enter Sushupti, deep sleep consciousness, these are input to the AI. And this determines what we experience in life as a result, because Sushupti is total causality. Sushupti is Shiva. It's also the subconscious or the unconscious mind, uh, the shadow, as Carl Jung uh, named it. And this is the part of the mind that actually runs our lives, up to and including generating a new body after the death of this body. Now let's talk about death just for a couple of minutes. What happens in death is that the gross body wears out and is dropped. But the other bodies, the energy body, prana, maya kosha, the mental body, mano maya kosha, the intellectual body or causal body, the uh, vijnana maya kosha, and of course the ananda maya kosha remain intact. And they, again, take the seed or the compression or the summation, the summary of all the impressions, all the experiences of this life. And then they input that into the cosmic AI, which is in the intelligence body, the Vijnana Maya Kosha. And that fashions the next body. Not only the body, but the parents, the family situation, the environment, even the world, the planet, the cosmic level of reality on which you take your next birth. See how powerful this is? So if you use mantras and use them well, you can uh, fashion for yourself whatever kind of life, whatever kind of existence that you want to have in both the present and the future lifetimes. There is no other AI this powerful. <laughs> so you should learn this language, you should learn this syntax and use it to create prompts. And we're going to go further into prompt design, prompt engineering in the next video. So please stay with us. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments, or get in touch with me on the Noli site. Om Tat Sat. Om Shakti Om. Om Namah Shivaya.